Assalamualaikum, my dear students. Welcome back to my class. This is Saira Wasif from Moolite International Publishers. Grade four students, kindly open your English textbook developed by Moolite Publisher, Unit Number Two, Grandfather's Garden, Language Focus Competency, Page Number. 19. First one category is vocabulary building. We have already accomplished it while reading the text of this unit. Now it's time to move towards our next category and that is learning to spell. And yes students we have been given many words but they are incompleted as some of the letters are missing. Let's explore the missing letter. Sunflower. Let's complete this word by putting the letter L in it. Grow. Listen to me carefully and then observe which word is missing in this word. Grow. As there is R sound as well but R is not written in this word. So write R to complete this word. Correct. In the correct word there comes two R. One is written and one is missing. Complete this word by writing R. Gift. I is missing. Soil. And I word is missing in it. Let's move to our grammar part. This time we'll be talking about countable and uncountable nouns. But before that we should know what is a noun. So yes students tell me what is a noun. Obviously noun is a naming word. It is the name of a person, place, thing or animal. But what about countable and uncountable nouns? And yes students countable noun is the noun that can be counted in numbers like one spoon, two children, five birds. Countable nouns are mostly common nouns and they have a singular and plural form. On the other hand, uncountable noun is the noun which cannot be counted in number like milk, cheese, oil. We cannot count milk. We cannot count oil. Even we cannot count cheese. Uncountable nouns have no plural form. You have been given a task that you have to write five countable and five uncountable nouns in your notebook. So the countable nouns can be five cats, two chairs, three windows, one door and a big house. On the other hand, if you will talk about uncountable, so just search uncountable things in your house. It can be water, milk, oil, cheese, yogurt, butter. I hope students that you are done with countable and uncountable nouns. Now it's time to talk about capitalization. And yes, my dear students, I have already informed you that where we have to make the words capital. When we start a sentence, the first letter should be capital and at the end there must be a full stop. Is this the only rule for the capitalization? No, we also write proper nouns with the capital letters. And yes students, the first letter of the proper noun is always capital like Lahore, Islamabad, Emporium Mall, Hyperstar. These are the proper nouns. And the first letter of them will remain always capital. The pronoun I is always written capital. Name of the days of the week and the name of the month of a year are always written capital because they all are proper noun. Now it's time to show your understanding about the capitalization. You have been given some sentences and you have to correct these sentences by using the rules of capitalization. Number one, Uzma and Nimra are sisters. As Uzma and Nimra are the proper noun. So we will make U capital in the word Uzma and N capital in the word Nimra. I live in Pakistan which is my motherland. So we will change I in the capital letter for two reasons. First of all, I pronoun is always written in capital letter. On the other hand, this is the start of the sentence. So make I capital Pakistan. Pakistan is the proper noun. So we will make P capital over here. Let's move to the next sentence. Some boys are playing outside the school. As this sentence starts with the word some. So the first letter of the word some will be capital. Is there any proper noun in this sentence? No. So rest of the sentence will remain same. Take care of yourself. The first word of this sentence is take. So T will be capital. I like playing football. And I is going to be capital because of two reasons. Number one. I pronoun is always written in capital form and second reason it is the start of a sentence. Yes students we are done with our language focus competency. I hope this video is very informative for all of you and you have enjoyed this video. Now it's time to say Allah Hafiz to all of you. Take care of yourself. Thank you.